Hi guys, Casey with the Hobbs Crew here today and we're talking about picking a unit study topic. So I have some ideas for you on how to actually get that started. Because because the unit study method is so um, interest driven, you want to pick something that the child is genuinely interested in. So that oftentimes piques their curiosity and can keep their attention. So whenever I am trying to pick what we're going to do, I always am looking at what does my child like? Is there a particular obsession? Now, I don't know about you guys, but our kids go through random obsessions that they really do enjoy. And so if, they, if I see, and usually that obsession ends up kind of being contagious, and so everybody pretty soon is interested in that same thing. So if I see that, then I'm going to try to incorporate that in what I'm going to be teaching. So if they are really, really into something, and it doesn't really matter what it is, then you can turn that into a lesson and turn it into a unit study. So if they're really, really into, say, even Minecraft, Minecraft can be a unit study because there's so much you can do. Or if, let's say, you don't want to study Minecraft specifically, but they still really love Minecraft. Like my kids built the Noah's Ark on Minecraft when we were studying that. So you can actually incorporate some of their interests in that. What is it that they really, really like? Um, what do they watch? What are kind of, what kind of, if they wanted to pick something to watch, what would they watch? Now I know that there's always like, you know, princess stories or whatever, but still like you can actually do a lot even with the princess stories. You can, um, especially for the little ones, there's a lot of good literature out there that you could be reading and then and then um, explore different areas of that particular topic. Um, so I always like to look, or do they like to watch like documentaries on, um, my kids love science documentaries, so uh, dolphins or snakes or anything like that. They really enjoy that. So that would be something I would probably do a unit study on. Um, what books do they read? So whenever a kiddo goes to the library, pay attention to what they're checking out because this is like the biggest hint ever because what they're reading about they really they really like so when our kids go to libraries i always look at the books and see see what what we're looking at sometimes it's what we're already studying in a unit study and they're and they're getting more information on that and that's great but what kind of information are they getting I studied yellowstone when we went to yellowstone and we touched on the bison there a little bit, but Randy came home with a book about bison. So she was really fast fascinated with animals, and so she wanted to chase that portion of it. So if I was to look at that, I would also say, okay, so what other animals can we explore? Because animals tend to be like a, a, a pretty sure thing um, with most kids, um, at least mine, they really like that. Um, what do they do with their free time? So. If they're able to do anything they want, well, what, what do they do? And that can sometimes give you a clue on what, what to come up with. Now, I know electronics has, or electronics has a lot to do with it. I get that. Um, but what kind, of, what kind of apps are they playing? Um, is there anything that you can explore further within those apps? Um, so like, for instance, um, my girls love like these baking and cooking apps. And so I could even do like a unit study on, on cookies um, or on cake decorating because that's what they're kind of into. So they really enjoy that sort of thing, that sort of thing. Vacations, so vacations are always a good thing. If you're headed somewhere, then what, what's the state that you're going to? What's the country you're going to? Research that, learn about that. Map your way there. Um, and then even when you come home, was there something more more that you wanted to explore about that certain place that you didn't realize was there because i do prep my kids really well for our vacations but there's always so much more than what i even realized so you might come home and study um hermit crabs so when we went on our beach vacation we touched on hermit crabs a very small amount before we left but the kids caught a few when we were there and so they come when we came home they wanted to do more with that so I explored hermit crabs with them more when they came home. Sports they watch. So um, if they love baseball, if they love hockey, 
um, you can get into the science of those particular sports. You can get into the history of those particular sports. You can get into the stats of those sports, and you could even um, look at a biography of someone within those sports and that make those sports come alive. And then you play those sports during the unit study, which is awesome part of it. You could break down the sport, every part of the sport and see what you need to do to be the best in that part of it. Um, you can even start look at the teamwork angle. That's always a good character thing with sports. The other thing is, is if they like somebody in history um, that they really admire or want to know more about, exploring that person is a good way to do it. Um, and then exploring the people around around that person too could be a little branch off of what you're doing. Those are my ideas of where I start and then you learn, learn to incorporate other people's, you learn to incorporate them all together and it works out when you have a lot of kids. Those are my ideas for getting started. If you haven't tried this unit study method, I encourage you to. It is so much fun and you will be so surprised at what you will learn and your kid will learn too. So, hope you give it a try. Good luck. Hey you too. I'm on a mission to get you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye.